Hi everybody. I thought it may be a great time to review the black leatherback sea turtle. This is my adventure watch and it has served me now for about three years. I bought it on a plane, which was a great deal because I didn't pay taxes. Um, and yeah, I think it's an appropriate time to review it while I'm sitting in this edge waiting for the film crew to come through so I could do filming for this edge review as well. So check that out on the channel. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Drive In Time and let's get to this watch. We're gonna cut straight to the point with this review and do five things I like about the black leatherback sea turtle. This thing retails for about $299, unless you buy it on a plane. So one thing I really like about this watch is the overall lightness of it. It is very light. It is made out of this carbon composite material that's pretty innovative. Um, it still is extremely solid. Um, it's got a rubber clasp and overall the lightness of it makes it a great adventure watch because you can go snowboarding, do jumps, not worry about this thing sinking on your wrist or digging into your wrist if you bend it upwards um, if you're doing some sort of um, pretty stringent activities. So I do like the weight. The next thing I really like about the black leatherback sea turtle is the actual face of it. it. It just looks so elegant with this black on black. And it's got this bioluminescence in here that's supposed to be advanced bioluminescence. And let me tell you, it's excellent. Uh, for example, when I watch this, when I wear this watch at night, um, and I'm going to bed and I have to check the time. I can always clearly see exactly what time it is. It, that prevents me from having to reach over, grab my phone, light up the room, maybe, um, you know, disturb my, my girlfriend who's sleeping next to me and all that kind of stuff. Like this thing, it's just really convenient. The bioluminescence is excellent and the face is excellent. It's really clear, as you can tell through this 4K imagery. Um, it's got that really nice Luminox logo up top and it's got the date dial, which is elegant. Um, really good job with the face, Luminox. And many people might not know this, but Luminox is actually a United States company. This company is based in California, and um, it it is uh, it just gets some of its movements from Switzerland. So that's why it says Swiss made at the bottom of the bezel. It's not actually a Swiss watch, it's a US watch, but its movements do come from Switzerland. So they are high quality, they're durable, they're shock resistant. Next thing you need to know is the actual sound of the bezel and the quality and feel of the bezel as it spins. So as you know, bezels have many uses. One of their uses is to actually, um, you know, do sort sort of time recording. Let's say if you're going on a quick dive and you want to dial in 10 minutes, you just simply move it on the bezel and then that bioluminescence would, would point the way. Um, this sounds and feels incredibly solid. Listen. Wow. I mean, what a click. This thing feels like like a legitimate competitor in a very high quality sort of swatch segment, and I'm really impressed with it. So good job on the solid build quality and on this bezel feel. It's really nice, very satisfying. I think fourth thing I like about this watch is the price point, guys. I mean, there's not many watches that you can get with this high quality, this sort of rated carbon innovative material built into it, 100 meters of um, you know water resistance, uh, for $300. I mean, this is a really big steal for $300. It's classy. Um, it feels the part, it plays the part. Um, so overall, I think that the fourth thing I like about this watch is the value. This is a great value buy. The last and final thing I like about this watch, because it is a pretty simple watch, is the fact that it has sapphire crystal scratch resistant glass. On the face, um, I think that's really a must in any sort of uh, adventure watch. If you have a watch that you're taking outdoors, um, that you're scraping against, or that if you're a clumsy person like I am, uh, you know, you need to have that sort of durability on the face. Otherwise, you're just going to always have a scratched up watch and you're always going to have to worry about it or even go get it like machine polished uh, to get the scratches out, which is really annoying. I have to do that for some of my other watches. And if you check my collection, you'll see that I have a Nixon that I've done that with maybe like six times. So uh, yeah, very good, uh, uh, very good durability on that glass. Great job, um, Luminox. That's the fifth and final thing. Now let's just sum up this review. Overall, Luminox is a pretty cool standout brand. They're pretty new to the game, but they do a great job bringing in some of these traditional touches, some of that quality feel, and most importantly, Swiss movements within the piece that make these durable, fun, affordable, and they last a long time. I'm, I'm definitely willing to bet that this watch is going to outlast some of my mo more quality pieces. So uh, that's my watch review of the Luminox black leatherback sea turtle check it out